<laughs> Yo, what's up gamers? WQ here, and believe me, I've been around the block long enough to know when someone is jealous, and I've been jealous enough times in my career to really be able to identify and say, hey, this guy clearly is, here's a case of a jealous gamer, a jealous YouTuber, so I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about some pretty obvious jealous, jealous YouTubers that uh, I noticed uh, today recently. I was on YouTube and hi everybody, what's good? <laughs> this is this is a guy I found. He he loves Narcissa uh, a lot, and see, he decided to take it out, really take it out on her by um, trying to roast her, really like go in on her. And so uh, the very first thing is I, I just saw this on like on the on the side browser, but it's his channel. Like you go to his channel, and this is. This is pretty much majority of his views, and this is he's he's decided to dedicate pretty much his whole channel to how much he loves Narcissus. And let's roll let's roll those clips, guys. What's going on, everybody? It's Johnny Fox. I'm here to talk about a very strange case of a speedrunner that has fallen from grace. Meet Narcissa Wright, and by the end of this video, you will see me out here suck girl dick thing where it's like everyone wants everyone needs money. And it's like who's worthy who. You're not producing the content, then you abandon your fans and suck it up, Buttercup. If I stop doing fucking content, then I'm not gonna get ad revenue on YouTube, and I'm not gonna get people paying to the Patreon. That's the thing. You actually have to do something for money. If I could sit on my ass and actually make money for nothing, you could call me Spoony at that point. And I want to, I want to buy clothes. I want to maybe build a new PC. I want to. Get some more furniture in here, and I want to like get a new phone. Like I was taking selfies earlier, and my phone camera is kind of garbage. Oh, I want things. I want things. Well, so do I. But you don't see me going off begging online to actually extort my fans for the shit. Like I, I don't really care about the transgender stuff that much. It's, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's definitely offensive, but I, I care about the speedrunner aspect, like. I've, I've been speedrunning for years now, and there's also the thing is it's like, I don't think this guy realizes he's, he's 5,000 YouTube subs, and he actually does, like, he doesn't beg, I mean, I guess he doesn't beg for donations, but he literally sets up a Patreon trying to pay his rent, which is exactly what Narcissus is doing, like, and the other thing is, like, you have 5,000 YouTube subs, you don't use your face in video, nobody knows who you are, like, you're, you're mostly irrelevant, dude. I, I get the same views as this guy. This is, this is my views in the last 30 days. I have 9,000 views. This guy has 15,000. Like, he has 5,500 subs, I have 300. We have the same view count. He's, he's actually losing subs in the last 30 days. I, I wonder why. Vox guy is saying, you aren't allowed to, you know, using your unique situation online and using your the circumstances that you have, you have been online. I mean, your system of circumstances online are very unique, right? So then he's saying, you're not allowed to talk to your audience or treat an audience in a certain way because I can't do it. That's what this guy is saying. I can't do this and so you can't do it, right? He has a failing YouTube channel and therefore he's saying, hey, no, you know, Narcissa, even though your YouTube channel is way more successful than me, your achievements online are way more successful than me. Narcissa is in ble bleeding Twitter followers, bleeding YouTube subs, completely bleeding Twitch followers, yet it's still remarkably far larger than this uh, YouTube troll will ever be. You're extorting your fans to buy shit you want versus actually doing the job that you were getting paid for. Here's the thing, Cosmo, right? Whatever the fuck you want to call yourself at this point. People paid you money because you entertained them. They gave you Patreon money and donations because you're a really big speedrunner. But the thing is, you wanted to walk away from that, become a transgender chick, and then pay, go try to get victim bucks like Brianna Wu and the rest of them fucking dead and you're apparently failing at it based on the Patreon I looked up. But here's the thing, if you win- This, this is another thing, it's actually just like really, really not true. And you have to wonder because this is like the third or the fourth point that's kind of just made up. It's not really true. And it's actually, it's a, it's a very poor reflection because he, he's criticizing something that he, he himself is trying to do. So, well, you know, you really got to wonder what's going on here. And, I think it's pretty obvious this guy's highly jealous of Narcissus, and it's even funnier because if you go to his channel, his, his main page, on, everybody? his Johnny main Fox video right? is is uh is his video on Narcissus. So there's definitely a complex here. There's definitely a little bit of um uh, 
inspiration being drawn. So if you went back and just did speed runs again, you know what? You might actually get something. But your excuse overall was I have carpal tunnel, so I can't do it. Guess what? Look, look, straight up. I have a compressed disc in my back. I have one bad rest, which is my left wrist now. And I have arthritis in my upper back. I have more fucking health problems than you know of, but you never hear me say that in a video or bitch to my fans say, I can't make a video today because my wrist is fucking with me. All right, this is this is sing singularly the thing that actually kind of pisses me off. I don't really care about the transgender thing, and honestly, I don't think he's like completely wrong. Um, saying, hey, I, you know, I have no money, and you know, even though I'm failing YouTube creator, you're not allowed to make content. That's basically that's what he's saying. I don't think he's completely wrong. Um, he's definitely a failing YouTuber. The whole this this saying him making a poorly edited bad bad video criticizing someone that he clearly looks up to is the not has nothing to nothing to do with speedrunning and having carpal tunnel and trying to speedrun with carpal tunnel as a as a job. This this is like the biggest uh, falsehood, the biggest lie. It's that actually pisses me off. Like if you if you have a large audience, let's say you're breaking in anywhere from one to five k viewers, and you there's a there's a standard for quality of gameplay. There's a standard for interacting with the ch chat, right? There's a standard for how you play the game, and so if you have carpal, it's significantly harder to perform in the game and you'll do a run and then you'll you'll perform much worse right and this this is bad as, as a speedrunner because it creates this cycle where you get in these reset loops so you, you start resetting a lot and you're playing like garbage and you, you start to get really down on yourself and it's it's really unhealthy and it's it gets, it has nothing to do with making videos it's like imagine having extreme bad back problems and doing manual labor and then your boss says okay you got to do this for another two years and you probably go it's probably it's only going to make the problems worse etc etc and it's like I can't, I can't physically do this I, I need to stop doing it so I can't do it in the long term like that that's how that's how bad it is it has like nothing to do with like if you have a little bit of uh back pain and oh, I've, I have you know my wrist kind of hurts but I still have to make this 10 minute video which takes you know 20 minutes to make and has almost nothing to do with my wrist you can you can wear a wrist brace you can't wear a wrist brace and speed run you, you play like garbage especially if you're trying to speed run to an audience every single day it just doesn't work so yeah it's kind of an ignorant statement and kind of a failing statement that's that was the one thing that like really kind of pissed me off and it's it's not like it's quite clear it's quite obvious that narcissa is actually trying to sustain herself trying to generate the revenue oh please support my patreon please do, do i agree with it you know maybe not but and cl clearly you don't agree with it you know that's what you're doing uh but but clearly you know it's still happening so it's like you're saying it's oh your job you have this speed run even though you have, you have carpool and you can't it's just a flat out lie and there's another lie presented in in his bad video people work for a living whether it's YouTube or you're playing your shit on Twitch or going to GDQs and all that stuff, that was your fucking job. And I know that you made those excuses talking about, well, I can't make a job because I don't want to think about it. You know what? I'm sorry. The world doesn't work like that. If you want that type of shit, go to a socialist country. Come on now. Don't give me this shit about it. I need, please pay to my... Dude, what are, they, what are these arguments? Like, do you, you have this dude... There's no picture of this guy, and he I I see a picture of this dude straight out of King of the Hill. He's trying to give a lecture. He's trying to lecture people online that you need that it's the it's the you need a job lecture to people who are sustaining themselves online have been for years, kind of create basically brought up speedrunning. He and it's King of the Hill looking dude is trying to lecture them. Like what what is this argument? Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the fuck do you do? <laughs> oh. Please support my Patreon, please. Please. I just need another 1500 per month, please. Please pay for my Patreon. You know what? You'll never see me sink that fucking low. <laughs> Imagine this guy. <laughs> no. 
imagine it making that video. Just imagine that. To sink to that type of level and try to play the fucking puppy eyes and try to be a little pansy about it and say, oh, well, I'm going to McDonald's fucking McDoubles are $1.29 now instead of a dollar. What the fuck? And here we go. Let's go on to the fun part where we look at some insane excerpts from this crazy nut job's fucking paste bin that she wrote trying to, I guess, reach out to people for help. Yo, th this is actually my favorite part because it's pretty funny. <laughs> I, I actually thought this paste bin was gold. Roses are red and I'm terrified to live in a world in which I am not verified. Call me vain if you'd like. I don't really care, but I will call bullshit when things are unfair. They're talking. She's talking about Twitter. She wants to be verified on Twitter so bad. I I literally you can't make this up. In the picture he used in his video, Narcissa is verified in the picture, and he he he's saying that she's trying to get verified. And in his picture that he's using. She's verified. So he's he's either wrong or some, something's very wrong here. Looks like a dick. I think I'm keeping my dick, but I'm a girl now. So deal with it. I'll respect your name. I'll call you she or whatever if I respect a certain person. But when we get down to brass tacks, a dick means that you're a guy. And a puss, or even a fake puss, means that you're a woman. Yo, I, I really don't agree with trans, the transgender stuff. But that... He he seems to agree with it. If if it's fake, that doesn't. You're still transgender. Like it, it, he he seems to be lofty on his opinions there. That thing is long as fuck. As long as a novel, and I'm showing you the shit that's somewhat coherent. The rest of it is such a jumbled mess that if I tried to read it to you, I would fuck it up constantly trying to make it sound right. So I'm gonna drop a link right here on screen and you can go and see it for yourself. Who who does links in screen? This is another thing I thought was really weird. It's like, why don't you put the link in the, uh, in the info like, like a normal person? Why would you put it on the screen? Now I have to Pause the video and then like hand type it out. Oh, but trust me, the autism is real with this one, folks. How can you say that? How can you say that making a paste bin is autistic, but then you put a link to a paste bin on your, in your video, in the, not, not in the video, like in the video, not in the, not in the description. It's on the video. I have to literally ty hand type out your link, yet he's being autistic. How does that work? How is that fair? Hey guys, what's up? Make sure you subscribe by clicking the link right here on my video. Uh, hand copy this link, pause the video, type out my link, um, put that in a new t in a new browser, and make sure you subscribe to my channel, guys. It means it would really mean a lot to me. Spend like ten minutes doing that. I still don't get it though. I want cuddling, oxytocin. Oxy, I thought she was talking about oxycodone, which is like a drug for like pain pills and stuff like that. I guess if you get the surgery or whatever. But it turns out that it's not about oxycodone or oxycotton or however you say it. It's actually a drug used to increase contractions when a woman is pregnant and giving birth. What the fuck is he even talking about? This is the incoherent. Here's where I, this is too far. Oxytocin, he calls it toxin is used to increase contractions to help in giving birth to pregnant women. That's true, but that's it's a hormone. It's a hormone in the brain, and it's like, it happens when you're cuddling. It's like pr produced, right? So they give it to people, and it helps for giving contractions. So he he kind of ignores that. He just, it's again, it's just jumping to conclusions. Thing. Now, I will say a lot of people seem to uh, download, like, agree with me. And a lot of people are downloading this video. And the thing is, again, I really think this guy actually is really jealous of Narcissa. Now, obviously, this is, like, a ploy to get views since 2016, early 2016. Everybody's doing this online where they... Okay, I don't agree with this person. Let's let's expose them or whatever. Um, and then, you know, you make some bad arguments and then you throw in a video and you get so much of views. And this is exactly what happened. Unfortunately, I think it's kind of unfair. And actually, like the, the big the big point of it is, I mean, this guy is super jealous. And I, I think I think if you want to expose someone, you should expose them, like, do it correctly. Don't um, randomly attack people and actually use good arguments. Because what happens is suddenly um, they, they expose you. 
They're exposing you. Those people that subscribed to you and gave you the money for your talent at Ocarina of Time or whatever game you were playing at that current moment when this shit started left because they weren't getting what they were paying for anymore. This is the same bullshit argument that was used earlier where it's like completely ignorant and very like openly ignorant of what actually is going on and what actually happened. And using Blair White as an example... I don't think it's a very good ar- it's a very good argument here, because what happened with Cosmo and turning into Narcissa, it's like two separate people, right? And I'm not going to come in here and say this is why your audience, your channel, your online personality failed, right, or changed. Because what if you're actually doing a lot better right now than if you had kept being Cosmo or whatever? So I'm not going to come in there and say that, but saying that you failed because you stopped speedrunning is not true. It's actually not true at all, and I think um, in current times, what happens is Narcissa actually is speedrunning. It does not have the same audience that she previously had, so it's not the speed. It's not a speedrunning aspect at all. They didn't want to watch your retarded little vlogs where you sit there and beg on camera and go off and just spurg the fuck out and actually, you know, not actually do anything gaming and even say the reason you won't work at a game store is because you don't want to deal with gamers when your fucking career was dealing with speedrunning, which is dealing with gamers. That's that's probably why she didn't want to work with gamers because, you know, dealing with speedrunners. It's like, okay, <laughs> I've learned my lesson. I won't, I won't go back. It's so hard. You know what? I'd rather be fucking strong at this point. I don't want to suck girl up there. That thing is long as fuck. <laughs> 